Donald? Donald? <laughs> <laughs> How did you reach Namibia? Did you come on your foot? Or on a camel? Or on a horse? How did you know about e-learning Africa? Did you send you a, a bottle? <laughs> Just a paper in the bottle to Scotland? You know it about you know about the e learning why you are here even. If there is no E we are not all here. So that innovation is important. I came here in an aeroplane. <laughs> but you know when the aeroplane was invented? by the Wright brothers at the beginning of the century? Is it the it's same? It's still about 300 yards. Is it the same? You know what happened in the first five years of the airplane? Most of them crashed. Uh -huh. It took time. It took a long time. <laughs> Something's coming up with the mic. <clears throat> you know, you're putting things like airplanes that took nearly a century to evolve into international flight. But it, it was, was not sustained. It was it innovation the and it was sustainable, and that's why we have flight now. There were many failures in the end, early days of flight. There were many people died, many crashes. You asked about E. Now, I've been involved for 30 years in you, Adam. 30 years. I've committed my whole adult life to this thing. I believe in this. But I don't believe in things that don't work. And I don't believe in the redefinition of innovation as intervention. Or you classifying innovation as the web and everything else. Those were solid, sustainable things that never went into the trough of disillusionment. Google didn't, Wikipedia didn't, Facebook didn't, YouTube didn't. These are the things that worked because they had the proper investment and planning and more importantly, <coughs> users love them. Yeah. On the far, far uh, side of the second block there, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask this simple question. 3310 is an innovation. How sustained is it? Thank you. as how to protect it were being discussed. It presupposes that there was something and we're thinking of how to sustain it. The environment is with us. We are destroying it and we're discussing how to sustain it. So it follows that something should be there to be sustained. And what was it? Innovations, ideas that were developed long before we came to existence. Thank you. Thank you for that. In the second row, on the second block on the right hand side, waving his hand. Second block, back there, that's it. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. I would like to say that um, as much as we want to deliberate on sustainability and e learning and all that, we have left the children behind. And we are adults right here, and we were once children. The way we were taught how to um, understand what, what we've been taught in school 10, 20 years ago, it's not the same way we should teach the future. The future will always evolve. Technology, whether we like it or not, must be infused into education. And sustainability, whether we like it or not, must work with e learning. Thank you. Yes, right at the back in the middle of, on the left hand side. That hand is sticking out. That's it. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think uh, what we can get out of this is try to find some guidelines for sustainability for the invaders. Because we cannot kill innovation and invaders under the sustainability issue. But we can put some sort of guidelines to direct uh, innovators when they are innovating or things to think about. But I think innovation should come first. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Lady in the front row, you. Hi. I, I just want to refer back to the chasm that Donald was talking about. And I would say that that chasm is fundamental to life itself. And there's probably quite a few, I mean, I don't want to lower the tone here, but there's probably quite a few little guys that fell in that chasm on their way to the egg that led to Donald's life. And they wouldn't have been able to get there without the help of their friends. I don't know if that's a good thing in this case or a bad thing, but failure informs success and it's essential to success. So innovation needs failure and that's okay, I think. <laughs> Could I, could I just refer back to the, the lady who made a brilliant point about the sustainability of the planet? Because if the planet falls into the chasm, this debate is beside the point. It all depends on how far you go on the path of innovation. Uh, if you go very, very far on the path of innovation, just like uh, what MIT or Negro Ponte was doing, then the, sub the sustainability is absolutely getting very, very low. So it's simply a question of risk anal analysis on how far you should go. Because if you do go for, like I work also for a research uh, organization, if in research, in, in where it's state-of-the-art research, if you get 25% of, of all your research that goes into projects, real substantial projects, then you have a real success. So it all depends how far you go on innovation. Thank you. There was a lady in the second row here. Yeah. Um, I need to stand up. Well, so, I loved Adele's uh, beautiful story for sharing all the power of innovation in Africa. But as I look at this sustainability story, I wonder how we define it. And I think to myself, how has sustainability been defined for Africa until today? Lots of it has been dependency. So sustainability has been almost equal to dependency. So are we going to change that model? So as we think about innovation for me, I think the big thing is, yes, innovation first, but we must figure out what the business model is that Africa is going to stand by to be able to sustain the innovation that we're talking about. And it has to be organically from inside of Africa. And then we're talking about sustainability and innovation. Thank you for that. We're, we're running out of time, so I'm going to take a, a few quick points. Another, another one from uh, the front here, and then a lady over there. Second row here. Thank you very much. The motion doesn't say the only thing that we should care about is. It says what is most important. In other words, what is the North Star? What should we be working towards? Is it the uh, trade of innovation or should we be after sustainability? We are not saying let's not innovate, but what should we put in front of our young people, our leaders, and everybody that's motivated? Let's put sustainability and let's have the path of innovation fit into that. But what's most important is and ought to be sustainability. Thank you for that. 
right at the back there in the second row, second row from the back. We are running out of time, so if the microphone can move quickly, that would be great. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I am referring to Donald's presentation where he used a tortoise and a turtle. If I am traveling and I reach a turtle, I need to innovate my movement and overcome the turtle. I wouldn't fall into the turtle and kill myself. Life is good. We need to innovate. And we need to. I'm going to take three more. The lady in the second row here, I think. No. Okay. The gentleman in the third row. Mr. Speaker, I'm coming from a small, mountainous and beautiful country in the heart of Europe, Switzerland. And we are quite famous to mediate between two groups. <laughs> So, Mr. Speaker, may I ask you to change the word of the motion that we can all agree to no, this motion. We can't, unfortunately. We have to stick to this motion, especially at this late stage. We can't take any amendments. So it's only one small thing. This House believes that sustainability is as important as innovation for education in Africa. Right, the back of uh, the back of the front block, just on the right hand side. Yep. Hello. Um, let's have this clear. The motion is clear. Yeah. Now, um, all of us know that sustainability is an innovation. Sustainability only came in two places when we noticed that our innovations were not sustainable. Uh, so you can't say a subset of something is more important than the set. The set is a big thing. Innovation is more important than sustainability. What does it mean sustainability to know if our innovations are sustainable? And we need sustainable innovations. But innovation, the set, is more important Thank you. Yeah, the lady in the white there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think the question is not innovation, but whose innovation? The lady mentioned in the back that um, schools, children leaving high school in the U.S. is quite high. It's also quite high in Canada. It's quite high in Africa. The issue is the school, that the box doesn't work. Every innovation I heard about here, where it was funded by Microsoft, Dell, and computing, was in the box. I didn't hear about any funded innovation that was in the community. I didn't hear about any that included parents. I didn't, it, it was all inside the institution. So, to Donald's point, who is driving the innovation? Okay, thank you for that. I'll take two very quick ones from here. One from the lady at the back of this front block and the gentleman right at the back. That, that'll be all we've got. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. I'm taking this uh, a stand because I also, like the other speaker, refuse to be one of the fools. Uh, we all know that technological innovations need to be sustainable. And every sustainable technology needs to continuously embark on innovations to remain sustainable. And we know that every innovation needs to plan for sustainability. So every sustainable innovation 
that do not plan for continuous, any, any sustainable innovation that does not plan for technology or new innovations is not sustainable. Because those technology gets to the top and sleeps there. You must continue to explore ways of meeting the ever-changing complex needs of the world. And you must, if you start an innovation, continuously plan to sustain. It is easier, in conclusion, it is easier to get to the top than to remain at the top. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, I'm going to take our final contribution from the back, but before I do, I'm going to try to just squeeze in the lady who is putting her hand up in front of her. She's very quick. Yeah. So one question here, and then the chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for letting me ask all of us, why are we going to Uganda next year? Why are we going to Uganda next year? And in Uganda, what are we looking for? It's because from here we are going to know what failed, what succeeded. Then we now bring you ideas. And for us to succeed in Uganda next year, we have to know how it's going to be sustainability. So I think the two go hand in hand. That is the problem. Thank you for that. And the gentleman at the back is our final contributor. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the discomfort uh, that the clergy have the bishops and the pastors. When I walk into church with my iPad, uh, wanting me to come with a uh, Bible that is paper, creates a challenge in the sense that the very same people are forgetting that uh, that word was written first on stone, later on on hieroglyphics, uh, and then on papyrus, uh, and so forth and so on. And today, it has been innovated to be put on the iPad. Now, that tells you and proves that innovation is key because on the iPad I can download and many people can have it immediately at a lesser cost. In addition, Mr. Speaker, what I believe is that um, you know, in the context of education, the curriculum needs to be correct and teach the rightful values for survival. The delivery mode and the life is where we need to innovate. That is my submission. Innovation is important. Thank you very much indeed for that and thank you for all of your contributions. I tried to get a lot in and thank you for being brief.